Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So for today's video, I am reviewing another Arteza product. I know I've been reviewing a lot of these, but I did uh, receive a package with three different products. So this is the last one I received. It's their woodless watercolor pencils of 24 colors set. And as you can see, the set comes in this plastic casing, which is a bit difficult to open. And the colors come in two different trays. The pencils are pretty thin and easy to hold in your hand, which I appreciate. And the fact that they are woodless is pretty interesting. And you will see why uh, further in the video. But I did feel that the color arrangement was a bit off and it was throwing me off a bit. So I decided to rearrange the colors um, basically to make them work for me. So this feels much better. And as usual with most of my first impressions, I started off by swatching each of the colors to see how they feel. I did that water to each color to see how it would transform into watercolor. Overall the swatches were really nice and pigmented. They washed down really nicely with the water. I did have a problem with one color which is the lemon yellow I think. It was very dry and it scratched the paper and it was hard to use. But other than that all the other colors felt really soft and nice. Uh, the color variation is pretty good. Um, you have 24 colors, which I think is more than enough. And this set retails on their US website for $20 and on their UK website for £14. So that's a really good price considering the amount of colors you get. Um, I will say I'm not a huge fan of watercolor pencils. <laughs> I have always found them very difficult to make them work for me, but uh, I think that's just because I'm really used to using paints directly and uh, using them out of the pens. So yeah, it was a bit difficult to try and figure out what kind of illustration I wanted to make and how to use them. You will see after swatching the colors, I did do a, a few tests of blendability and stuff like that. And I chose the color palette for my illustration. So I decided to try to sharpen them and use the the things that come off when sharpening the pencils as paints. I didn't know if this would work, so I just added water to them and it actually did work. It turned them into a nice paint. Now on their website, they say that you get a lot more color coverage and versatility in application with rich lacquer coated pencils, which is true. Uh, if you do use the technique I used here, which is sharpening them and then adding color to the sharpened bits, uh, then you do get a lot more pigment than just applying the pencil directly to, to the paper and then applying water to them. So I did find that this is a way to get more pigment out of them. As you can see, I blended them together. They blend beautifully by adding color. Uh, so I did blend two different colors together and yeah, they worked smoothly. I did also try to dip the pencil directly into water to see what I can create. Um, this creates a really nice line, which is um, nice and sharp. And yeah, those were my tests. So for the illustration, I decided to do some tulips. Uh, I didn't have a really thought out plan. Uh, before starting the illustration, but I did use my technique where I sharpen the pencils and use the paint directly from the uh, ceramic palette. So this worked beautifully for me. As you will see at the end of the video, the colors look rich and vibrant. And yeah, it was basically like using watercolors, but not, not so transparent watercolors, if that makes sense. It was harder to get them to be transparent. Now, <laughs> I don't know... Um, if it's worth it to go to the trouble of sharpening the pencils and adding color to the uh, fallout from the sharpener and stuff like that, you could just use them directly on paper. But I wanted to have a nice illustration at the end and I don't really work with colored pencils that much and especially not with watercolor pencils. 
what I thought this was a very interesting experiment to see if this works. And I think it did. The illustration came out pretty nice. I added a black background to the illustration also, uh, which I left in pencil because I really liked the texture that it gave off. So yeah, overall I think this is a pretty cool set. It's very affordable and you get a lot of colors, which is typical for Arteza products. So if you're interested in purchasing them, I will have links to the UK and the US website in the description box. If you do use the links, I do get a small commission. Uh, don't feel obligated to do so. But yeah, if you're interested, then check them out. And also check out Arteza's YouTube. They have really good instructional videos on how to use their products. I hope you enjoyed these first impressions. And let me know in the comment section what are your feelings about watercolor pencils and how you tend to use them. I feel I'm pretty new uh, to this and not used to them as you will see but I would love to know your thoughts and what are some techniques that are good to use with watercolor pencils. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.